I'm Jared Dienda. This is Snap-on Tools Tech Series Nitro Edition. Now, we obviously know you get a lot of horsepower from Nitro, and if the engine stood alone, you'd probably have about 7,000 horsepower, but let's throw another 3,000 horsepower at it with what we call a supercharger. What is it? Really, you create a system where you add the atmospheric air and you jam more air by putting a supercharger on it. It takes about five or 600 horsepower, believe it or not, to actually turn the blower, so it takes a little bit of power away from the engine but the gains are tenfold. This blower is a fine-tuned, ported piece of equipment. The rotors are made out of billet aluminum. The housing's made out of billet aluminum, so there's a lot of fine-tuning that goes into this. This blower is really the key to winning races. You call it a blower. Some people call them windmakers. I would say it accounts for three or 4,000 horsepower on this nitro engine. So now we've broken down what a supercharger is. What kind of adjustments do you make at the track in the pits? Let's say it's warm and humid out, we would spin the supercharger faster. If it's cooler, a lot of good clean air, we'll slow the blower down. Let's put it this way, at Denver, where it's way up in the thin air, we'll spin this blower at 50 over. And let's say we're at sea level, like at Englishtown, New Jersey, or Pomona, California, we'll slow the blower down as slow as 32, 33%. Not always more is better, as far as things go. It's that fine line of fuel-air mix. It's a balance, and you can actually spin the blower so fast, it'll actually hurt the engine. It'll give it too much air, and the air-fuel ratio will be messed up. So right amount of fuel, right amount of air will make maximum horsepower. So every pass, you break down the engine, and of course you break down the blower. What kind of things are you uh, doing to it? What we're changing to make it fresh all the time is we check the seals. There's rubber seals, plastic hard nylon seals that go on the end of each rotor. So we'll turn the blower over and actually stick a feeler gauge, sometimes 1,000th thickness, mm. and turn it and see how much it'll lock down in there between the seal and the side of the case. We'll try to make two to maybe three runs before we reseal it so it has the same amount of efficiency lap after lap.